Advice? Yeah. Our song? Yeah, that's right. This you can do. The weekend. Can't feel my face. You tap on that. Okay. <laughs> She wants me to do it. Um, okay, so you're gonna go that way and there. Okay. Shows a trash can and you throw me. Why did you throw that one away? Because that that one made me go up, up. <laughs> made you blow up. Yeah. Okay, what are you gonna do? It made me. I did dancer one do star and dancer two and three clap high and every three measures um, I made all of them do clap. <laughs> So these are the three basic ingredients for a story. You need a character, and you probably knew that, but you need a character, and then you need something else. You need a, a goal, something they want desperately, something they have to have or feel like they have to have uh, or need. Uh, and then you want an obstacle, something between them and their goal, something that's stopping them from getting it. How your character overcomes that obstacle to reach that goal is your story. Say it. But those are the elements you need. If you remember that, you're, you're going to be fine. No matter how the technology changes over the years, you'll always be fine. Anyway, thank you. I don't know what coding languages you know. And before I knew Brian, I didn't know that there was a language for a story. And just like understanding coding languages, if we understand the story language and the arguments and the documentation behind it, how to build stories, I think it's not about knowing those languages, not about knowing the code. It's about knowing what we're gonna do with those stories, what we're gonna say with our stories, how we're gonna use our skills.